Hey there, let's get something uh, out of the way right away. Uh, I'm not saying this guy is not a good golfer. Uh, I'm not saying he's not talented. I'm not saying his instructions are not good. I'm just questioning what audience uh, he anticipates um, for his product that he's got on here. This, the, basically, the, the instructions are that he wants to keep as much weight on the leading uh, leg as possible. And you can see clearly that he does that here. There's no argument about that. Uh, the weight is on the leading side. It doesn't move um, away from the target uh, on the backswing. Uh, we've drawn, I've drawn a red line and a green line for the body and the head. And you can see that he's not, he's not messing around with uh, any weight transfer. Very similar to the old stack and tilt system, the largely discredited uh, stack and tilt system. But my question is this, from the top of the backswing here, what is this system uh, requiring the players to do? With the bottom half already forward and the, the leading knee kind of bent forward towards the ball, in other words, there's no weight transfer onto the back foot at all. Where can the weight go on the downswing? What happens to the bottom half? Uh, on the downswing and the answer to that is it moves even further forward and then by my reckoning it has to stop or the player is going to fall over or he's going to completely um, mess up the conditions of impact so if you don't take the weight back what propels the club head through the point of impact if we look at his bottom half not moving and his top half's not moving what's moving flicking of the wrists. Um, even great players have moved away from this. Rory McIlroy in the last 12 months has moved away from a, a flick uh, to a more kind of benign type of uh, downswing. So <clears throat> here's my questions. Does a javelin thrower stand still with his weight on his leading foot and just throw the javelin or does he take the weight back and then bring it forward as he goes to the launch point does a pitcher just throw from a standing start or does he wind up does he take it back and then does he sort of move into the throw does a tennis player have all his or her weight on the leading foot or do they take it back and then step into the shot all these sports use positive weight transfer and the system that is perhaps being advocated by this golfer doesn't have any weight transfer on the backswing. That said, it does have weight transfer on the downswing. You can see the red line there where the weight is already on that thing. But as he comes down into impact, the bottom half has moved forward and the only thing that can propel the club head through the point of impact is a flick uh, of the wrist. I'm not in a position of saying I wouldn't advocate this or I wouldn't advocate that. I'm simply saying that this system requires a lot more hand and eye coordination than I have and a lot more hand and eye coordination than a very large percentage of golfers have. Bye for now.